guys, welcome again to the Civil Tarot. This is Mia, and today's topic is about Lenormand. And uh, well, I want to speak about the importance of context in Lenormand. Uh, in fact, uh, well, uh, a couple of days ago there was a, a video by Donnelly de la Rose um, speaking about this very topic, and I think that uh, these days it is becoming a very hot topic, and uh, I feel that it is kind of a shame that there's people out there thinking that Lenormand isn't for them, that Lenormand doesn't work or that uh, it is not accurate when in fact Lenormand is probably the most accurate system I have ever come across and it works wonderfully but it has a system so you can innovate, you can absolutely innovate but the thing is there's a way, a proved way that in which Lenormand works so why not using it? What is so bad against following a system or following a set of rules that actually work? This is something that drives me crazy really, but well, this is the thing and that I want to speak about. Uh, a pair of cards, a reading in a normal without context can mean a lot of things and this is what we are going to prove today. So, well, I am going to use Monica Budersky's Lucky the Norman and Okay, let's pick just like two cards. Okay, see? House and Lily. So, what do House and Lily mean? Without any kind of context, it can mean a lot of things. It can mean a house that is old, it can mean an elderly home, a, a, a place in which elderly people live. It can be a house that is peaceful, that is in harmony, a family that is in harmony. And uh, even if you are uh, the kind of reader that assigns a sex to Lily, it can be a brothel. So this is why it is very important to assign a context to your reading. So see what I want to, the point that I am trying to make, like context is everything. So now. For instance, we are going to pull another two cards, okay, and look at them from different perspectives. So, okay, tree and lily. So, for instance, tree and lily, okay, first thing that comes to my mind when I see tree is health. So, in a health context, what does this mean? Like. Okay, we can speak about the health of an old person. We can speak about uh, retirement. Then, if we are speaking about love, we can speak about uh, a connection that is harmonious. If we are speaking about finances, we can speak about stable finances. So, this is what I want to, to see, like, you need to apply a context for accuracy and this takes me to uh, this discussion I saw in Facebook this uh, very morning or perhaps yesterday there was a lady who was discussing this combination let me look for it wait a sec yeah worse woman yeah so this was her daily reading woman key and son it was a daily draw with no context with no particular question and this uh, person was wondering why uh she actually got some pretty bad news that day because there was the key and the sun and there were like positive cards but the thing is there is no questioning here i mean if you ask am i going to get the news that i am expecting today and you draw these three cards you're probably going to get them but the thing is without context this is just a woman having an aha moment coming to light coming to the surface being exposed so that's the thing it doesn't have to be positive it is just information random information it is not speaking about a concrete situation so this is in a nutshell why it is so very important and I am no, I'm never get tired of saying it is so very important to add context and it is not something that uh, people are saying because we want to be the Norman police no but just it works so just try it for a little while and see what happens and if not uh, 
then go back to whatever you're doing. So this has been it and thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely rest of the day. You can check my website, thecivilstereo.com and subscribe to my channel. Bye!